Oh, my hair. Yeah, no makeup, no nothing. Sick. Awesome. Wonderful. Hi. I just felt like making a video, so here I am. Recording. Sick. <laughs> Haven't done this in a while, and uh, I couldn't remember how to turn on my camera. Great. Perfect. Wonderful. <laughs> Hi. Uh, I have not done this in so long. A lot has changed. A lot has been... It has been so good. It has been awful. It has been tear-filled. It has been filled with laughter. It just a lot has happened. And uh, this is just kind of a reintroductory video, a re reintroduction video to me. And yeah, it it's good to be talking to my camera again. I it's just good to be back. It feels normal. It feels odd. It's awesome that I finally have my office set up or my side of the office. Um, for those of you who don't know, who only follow me on uh, YouTube, couldn't remember the name of this platform. Good job. <laughs> but most of you follow me on Instagram or I know in life personally, but I'm in a long-term relationship. And my partner, he is like the sweetest man on the planet and very supportive. And uh, the other huge thing is we're in Portland now. We've been in Portland for about four or five months now. And I've been at my new job about four or five months now, which is awesome. I'm still working with cheese. I'm surrounded by awesome coworkers and it has benefits. Holy crap, it has benefits. <laughs> I've been building friendships with coworkers that I haven't been able to do in the past. I have loved my previous coworkers, but either we were in the same department, so whenever I was off, they were working, or I just didn't have the time, or I was too anxious to ask them to hang out, or whatever it was. It was just my bubble was me and my partner. Steven. And it did close me off for a long time to my extroverted side as much as, to be honest, the cool thing nowadays to be is to be introverted. And I'm just not that. I am only introverted because of my anxiety, because of depressive moments. And uh, I really do need people. I need to like talk to people, open up to people, but my anxiety tells me not to. It tells me that people don't want to hear that, that people don't want to take on my struggles. And it's, yeah, I don't want people to take on my struggles. I just want help. <laughs> I just want to let out my thoughts that I can't or stuff that I already talked to my partner about, but want to hear a different point of view or, um, yeah, just finding a bonding experience with people is very important to me. And I didn't realize how important it was until I started making friends here in Portland. It's helped me find different parts of myself that have been either very, very, very deep, or I just haven't given myself the opportunity to think about. One of which is that most of you know that I am bisexual, which is, woo, a party. Um, <laughs> something else that has recently come to fruition and that I've been more open about it on my Instagram and close friends haven't exactly gotten to most of my family. My sister is super, super supportive, but my parents is an another thing. If you're, if mom or dad, you're watching this, uh, I am non-binary. My pronouns are they, them, although I still use femme words, uh, sister, girlfriend, well, girlfriend, like, partner is preferred. I've already talked to my partner about this. 
um, yeah, sister, daughter, potentially wife someday. I don't mind those words because those are words that I'm familiar with. I can still see myself identified as. However, I see myself as gender queer, non-binary, or just me. Uh, I... Yeah, it's been an experience and I've had really cool people that I'm lucky enough to work with but also be good friends with now, just within a couple months, exploring my pronouns and <laughs> so my friend um, who was one of the first people I came out to uh, came up to me or the day before we were sitting um, at a bar just talking and they were like oh by the way my pronouns are he him I was like cool and inside I had already been questioning my gender identity and my pronouns and I freaked out and I didn't say anything. Luckily at that moment he didn't notice, which is fine. But then the next day, him being him, noticed that I didn't say it and came up and was like, hey, I noticed that I, I didn't ask you what your pronouns are. I'm sorry I didn't do that. What are your pronouns? And I felt like curling up into a ball and like hiding because I wasn't sure and I told him I told him exactly that like I don't know I'm not sure I've been thinking of exploring they them but I'm I'm fearful of doing that and he kindly asked if it would be okay if he started using they them pronouns for me and I was like you're the first one to do that so yeah I, I don't see why not um, and I said it would be really kind to do that and he did and started like told his partner who I'm also friends with and it was just kind of freeing to be outside the binary it felt normal my therapist Ooh, I, I found a great therapist and they are also exploring the binary and like ebbing and flowing of all that and uh, I told them about that and they're like yeah yeah explore that do find what is good for you and uh, I don't think I've ever found a bigger cheerleader other than probably my family I, I've just been taking baby steps into this gender queer thing <laughs> and uh, every time I do something I think is small uh, I tell it to my therapist and they're just like oh my god this is huge I'm so fucking proud of you and I'm just like I'm so taken aback by how big the reaction is for it that I'm like you know what yeah I'm the shit I am the shit for doing that and uh, I just kept taking these baby steps and like it's like I don't want to say <laughs> I, I like I mean everybody wants validation and of course a lot of the validation should come from within us however like having that external validation is normal and to a certain extent healthy and I definitely feel like that external validation especially from my therapist and my new close friends is helping me be more comfortable with it. If there are people out there who like aren't reactionary to it that's fine too as long as like they're not saying anything rude to me because <laughs> I'm a delicate fucking flower. Yeah, it's just been a wonderful experience and I'm so insanely lucky to live in the place that I do, to feel safe, uh, to be myself, to discover who I am and not a lot of people can say that, I really, I know. And I just, I'm building a queer family that I haven't had the opportunity to before. It's 
interesting having grown up in a very, well, quote unquote, liberal state, but it's not really liberal because there's a lot of super, super rich people who still control everything and they don't want to lose their money. So it's like, it's liberal, but financially not if that makes sense. But having grown up in kind of that area, I wasn't exposed to a ton of queer people, especially people in uh, the non-binary spectrum. I only knew of one person um, and that was, I only knew of them when I was 20. Like I didn't realize that was a thing. I knew of trans people, I knew of transitioning and all that kind of stuff but I didn't realize like you could live outside of the binary which I found really interesting but I didn't really think about it because I was still exploring my sexuality and I was just learning at that time about bisexuality and all that. My gender has been very I don't know. It's been interesting to say the least. Also, what am I talking about? I'm also growing my fat positive family, which is like as much as I love that I'm building a queer family, fat positivity is some other shit. It is amazing. It is so insanely validating to know that I am not alone in my body. I am not, my my body is a part of me, but it is not everything. My body is a radical statement. I mean, it should, fuck, it should not be. It should not be a radical statement, but it is because I am living in it and I am enjoying it. And fuck if I have not taken some seriously sexy photos that I'm not gonna be sharing for <laughs> a good long time. Um, especially since my Instagram is kind of linked to my work Instagram, so I'm like, hmm, probably shouldn't post that just because I am tagged and then I deleted that and the company might be like, what the fuck, one of your employees is posting that and be like, bye bye Don't want to lose my job. Like my job. <clears throat> Once again, moving off track. And I feel like I'm going to have to chop this down significantly and at least this is like, a very good way for me to get out my thoughts because I want to ugh, I say this every fucking video. You know what? I'm not going to say it because I feel like I jinx myself when I say the thing that I was about to say, but I'm not going to say it because I like doing this. I like chatting. And my doggo is here. Hi, the Ruby. Come here. This is the Ruby. For those of you who don't know and see a shit ton of her pictures, please don't let me. <laughs> She's kind of camera shy, huh? Yeah. Well, thank you everybody so much for watching. Just thank you for sticking it out and being here with me and the Ruby. Oh my goodness. <laughs> she is a child. Yeah. I really appreciate you all watching whoever it is. You, if it's one or 50 people, thank you. Ruby appreciates it too. Thank you so much for watching. Keep on keeping on and I'll talk to you later.